Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back. We are... When we last left off, we were in the mouth. You must run the game several times before completing the experience. Okay. Whoa! It scared me. Did the pictures change? No, I remember that picture. But not this one. This is new. I always close the door behind you. Were you born in a barn? Like Jesus? Is that what you want to be? Do you want to be Jesus? God, what an ego on you. Um. I'm, I found a bug in your game. I, I found a bug in your game. Psychology is a modern, civilized human being. It is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Uh, we've done this. In the early monastic era, humankind has defined the era of God. In all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continuous survival. Um, okay, there's a tape in the dining room. There were two doors that we weren't allowed to go into before. I would like to go into them. It's the upstairs bathroom. I found another bug in your game. Um... There are problems. So these two bedrooms are all right. I guess we need to go to the dining room, which is over here. We've been here. This door's locked. Sympathy, 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 sympathy. Huh. Downstairs bathroom. Huh. Right under the sideways mirror. No time to, to, to do squats on the sink. I think your sound peaked. Something there's a a door are unlocked. Let me see. Was it the garage next? I think it was. 
No. Not the garage. Do you guys have that same feeling? Something's wrong. Doors unlocked. In the dining room. Was it the basement? No. Let's go on a hunt. Wait, what was that? What was that? There was a what? Oh. Oh no. I have broken plates. Whoops. I have broken all of your plates on accident. I thought it was in the living room next. Was I wrong? Let's try upstairs. Master bedroom? Yo, dog, I hear you like doors. So I put this door in your door. So you can go through a door while you go through a door. Mm, not in here. Let's try one of the other bedrooms. Or the upstairs bathroom. Found it. It's right here, right next to this. Hmm? Just grab it and go. How are you using earbuds? Do you have that same feeling I do? Like something fell. Hmm. it was true to form. I don't know what that form is. Oh, catching on the jam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Fast forward button. Pew. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. It is easier to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of the house. Mm -hmm. This comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analyze of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are like veins, providing circulation, coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of the house serve much the same purpose as eyes, while anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a pale dark manner will tell you that the house is a creature capable of Stairs? I'm going to assume it's the stairs. It is not the stairs. Garage. I see nothing glowing in the garage. It is not the garage. Bedroom. Windows. Oh. It is very bright over here. Uh, 
Something's wrong with my house. Well, soon to be my house. I know it's probably haunted and trying to kill me, but that doesn't mean we can't be friends. The bedroom was perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, the land for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, do, 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 do. I dream that there are teeth growing all over me, everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone spurs. They're loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches and enters through the front door. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of quarters. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. He begins urinating on the wall. He spits on the carpet. He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. The ticks are bursting, losing all black blood everywhere. I can feel them being ground up, dissolved and torn, splitting and shredding. I leave the door closed. I close my eyes and try to sleep. The teeth continue growing on me until there is nothing left of me but teeth and gums and sinew. The basement is dark. Okay, for the record, I did not spit on the carpet, but thank you for calling me young. I'm going to have to put a cut here. I need a break.